Samsung Galaxy phones are really incredible phones. They're very high quality, very premium. People love them from Asia to Europe and Africa to North and South America. I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Note series for a long time because I'm a high volume, high productivity user and I love using the S Pen. Uh, this year, as you can see, they've released the Samsung Galaxy Z or the Samsung Z Fold 2 5G, which don't get excited about the price you see on your screen. That's where the trade in. The retail value of that in the US is $2,000, I think. Um, overall, people love the Samsung Galaxies. And one of the questions people have about using the uh, Samsung keyboard, which is really an incredible keyboard. I can type using my, my S Pen without having to press every individual key. So the people, uh, the question that people have is when you use the microphone to dictate into your Samsung Galaxy for voice typing, it uses the Samsung voice input. So if I press the microphone right now and I start recording, it's going to convert my speech to text using the Samsung voice input, which is fine, which is great. I mean, there is nothing wrong with the software. But a lot of people are more comfortable using Google voice typing. They might just have a longer experience using Google voice typing. They may be using Google voice typing across devices. But in any case, the question becomes, how do you change Samsung voice input on your default Samsung keyboard to Google voice typing without changing anything else about the default Samsung keyboard? So what you're going to do is go to settings. And in settings, you want to go down to general management. In general management, language and input, on screen keyboard, manage keyboards, and here you disable Samsung voice input. So now this is really going to take care of uh, removing Samsung voice input from your Samsung keyboard and using Google voice typing instead. So if we go back to our text and click that microphone button again, you can see that it's now the Google voice typing uh, keyboard or the input. So now when you're dictating or speaking into your Samsung Galaxy, Google is converting your speech to text. And if this is what you were looking for, then this is the solution. But a lot of people report that when even when they go through this step, over time, Samsung phones revert the uh, voice input back to Samsung from Google voice typing. And so there is a solution for that as well. You can go through this first step like I showed you and leave it as it is and there's nothing wrong with that and that should work for you for a long time. But if you find that your Samsung voice input is overriding Google voice typing, perhaps every time you do an update or you know a few months down the road, what you want to do is go to apps and in apps you've got the three dots on the top right click that and then you choose show system apps search for Samsung voice there it is Samsung voice input select that and this is where on the bottom left you'll see that little radio button for disabling your Samsung voice input. So go ahead and click that. It gives you a little prompt and you disable the Samsung voice input. So that's selected now showing that your Samsung voice input has been deactivated or disabled. And if you go back to your text and you press the microphone button again, we're back to where we're still with the Google voice typing, but this is a more permanent solution to disabling Samsung Voice input and using Google Voice instead. So if this was what you were looking for, then you could do, you should do uh, the two steps like I showed you, which is first you disable Samsung Voice input and then as a, as a second precaution, you go to apps, then you go to Samsung voice input using the three dots on the top right and you disable Samsung voice. Well, I hope this video helped you. And if this is what you were looking for, this should be the solution that'll take care of your question.